In this video, I used Google Maps and Gaia GPS to locate what I thought would be a suitable campsite for my truck. On Google, there was a clearing close to the river that I wanted to fish. It looked like there was logging roads accessing it. The only question is what kind of condition those roads would be in. I guess that's part of the adventure. I have to be extra cautious when traveling down these roads as I have no recovery equipment. No wench, no traction boards. I simply can't risk being stuck in the middle of nowhere. Could get through here, come across this. My truck would be good through here. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Once I get to this, uh, I'm not gonna try to get through there. That, uh, that is way too risky and I'm pretty confident I would get stuck in there. Judging by those boards, looks like someone else has been stuck. So I'm gonna have to find a different way to get to where I'm going. Oh, that's frustrating, but I was heading down this road that's uh, not going to happen and my biggest thing is I cannot get, afford to get stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. So it's just not worth the risk. I'm going to turn around and see what I can do. Well, I was able to look at the maps and come up with an alternative way of getting to my location. The only drawback of the place was every once in a while some ATVs would drive by. So I pulled my truck into the spot I was hoping for, put on my waders, Went into the river and did a little fly fishing before dinner. So I just got here, I'm just working my way down the river and I've been using streamers. I haven't had any luck yet, so I'm gonna switch it up. And just have a relaxing kind of walk down the river here and just see what that exactly is all about. It's my first time on the stretch of water. It's absolutely beautiful. Really easy to walk in, fairly shallow with some really deep pools. It's just beautiful. Got the place myself so far. So we'll switch it up and we'll see if we have any luck. The river is just past those rocks right there. Got all my stuff hanging out. I was just fishing. So instead of cooking here at the back of my truck, I can't help but think it would be nicer to have my dinner and a beer by the river. So this is how quick of a little walk it is. Here's my chair already. There we go. So this is where I'm going to have dinner at.
Okay, so for dinner tonight, I'm gonna have a nice ribeye steak, I'm gonna barbecue some mushrooms, and I'm gonna throw some asparagus on here. A garlic and dill asparagus, you can eat it just right out of the jar. I throw it on the grill just to give it a little bit of oomph, warm it up a bit, and sit back by this beautiful setting, have my dinner, have a beer. Honestly, I don't know if it gets any better than this. So good. Okay, dinner's just about ready. 14-inch uh, Weber Smoky Joe, and um, I tell you, for these overlanding trips that I'm doing, you don't want to barbecue too big. You really don't need one at all, but it is kind of nice to have. And when I have the room, I take it with me, and it is—it's it's really nice. And natural charcoal briquettes in there, and um, just gives it that flavor that you don't get from, uh, you know, barbecuing it over a gas grill. <clears throat> but it's done. It's all I work filming and sit back, enjoy my steak, mushrooms, asparagus, cold beer. Dinner is served. My new mic, it's my new knife by the way. Oh, there's lots of asparagus. I'll get into, I'm gonna show you a little bit about that later. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. I'm not gonna need these ones. This spot took some work and some stress, I gotta be honest with you. Going down some of these roads, and you're so far off the grid, no signal, and uh, you think about getting your truck stuck with all that gear in it, or a flat tire, or even a breakdown. It's, uh, it's a little stressful getting here. Once you get here, it's, uh, it's worth it. I guess it was too good to be true. Just about finished dinner and the skies opened up and started raining. So I actually had to finish my dinner inside my truck here because I didn't put up my awning because the forecast was calling for no rain. But the skies are getting darker, so live and learn. I don't know when I'm I don't know when I'm gonna learn not to trust the weather forecast, but should have put up my awning, but I will put it up now, it won't take too long, and uh, proceed with uh, the rest of my night. Hopefully it clears up, but I can still get a fire tonight by the uh, river. That would be really nice. If not, we'll do it in the morning. Well, I got a nice fire going, but the weather keeps changing. Clouds are coming in and out, in and out getting dark again so hopefully it doesn't start to rain all right guys this is gonna wrap up the video hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that like button give it a thumbs up i really appreciate it if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel some videos like this coming up all the time and we got another one in the books cheers <laughs>